Hey guys, um, so I got a new car and um, what I'm going to be doing is doing a little bit of rust proofing on it to make sure that uh, it does not get affected by salt over the winter time. So with that said, um, I purchased a new case of this RP342, full case, 12 cans. I'm going to start out with five. What I'm doing right now is putting them into a warm bath, so this is hot water in there just to kind of get the cosmoline as loosened up as much as possible. But um, also in the meantime, what I did is I dressed up warm, uh, put on the clothes that I really don't care about because it's gonna get pretty much thrown away afterwards. <clears throat> um, other things that I got was the face mask, safety glasses, and and rubber gloves. We'll be using this uh, to get this job done. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and go outside where the temperature is nearly 40 degrees. It's a little bit cold, but uh, I really have no choice. It's not gonna get any warmer this year, so uh, let's go get it done. All right, let's do a quick video of how the stuff gets applied. Uh, so this is a 2012 Toyota Sequoia. As you can see, there's quite a bit of rust already on the frame but not not terrible so what we're gonna do is spray right over the stuff just like what I did in my other trucks but spray over the stuff you know, like the sun and uh, so it prevents it from getting any worse so pretty much just take the can shake it up a little bit get that Cosmo in worked up and then just start playing and don't spend too much time in a single spot it's gonna keep going all the way across because you will be doing multiple coats anyway so you can kind of see the amber color of the wax you can see it's spraying out as well all the fumes so that's the stuff you want to keep out of your garage so never do this inside of your garage because it's going to be everywhere all right so spray it out Spray down every spot. If you see joints in the frame, spend a little bit more time on those. But again, you're gonna be doing multiple coats anyway, so just gonna do a once over first. Do a once over, and then after that, um, we'll get into the details at a later time. But what you wanna do pretty much is go around, and get all the bolts, um, any connecting points, Anything that you think that uh, the salt is going to go, or moisture. I don't go too much into the into the holes that they have in the frame. Um, there's really no need. If you have the time, by all means, do it. Hit up those holes. <clears throat> that way it gets it protected from the inside as well. I don't really do too much because I don't see too much stuff going in there. So there we go, in another spot. Let's go ahead and go over it. And the extra will drip right off. So be careful when you're laying down because it's gonna get on your clothes. You can see it dripping already. But uh, you don't want to put the stuff on too thin and you don't want to put in stuff too thick. Too thick is going to run down. Uh, if it's too thin, it's not going to do its job. So that's just something you got to look out for. Anyway, I got quite a bit of work to do. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this for now and uh, pause the video and I'm going to do the work and I'll probably do another video of what it looks like afterwards. All right, guys, the job is done. I'm just kind of going to go over this and show you what it looks like afterwards. And I'll probably take some still so you can get a better picture of what it's like. You can see a little bit of a drippage there. So this will happen. Uh, be mindful of that. Uh, anything that is an overspray is going to drip down and it might get on your driveway. I don't really care because it's going to wear off after time. <clears throat> but. Um, yeah, you'll see that all over the car, especially in the heavy spots. 
that you've gotten. But if you want to kind of take a look and see what it looks like underneath, try to do the best that I can. You can see the spray, it has this amber color to it, which you may hate or not mind at all. I don't mind it because I know it's not rust, but it does have this amber color to it. When it dries out, it's gonna darken up a little bit, uh, but it still has this little amber tone to it. So that's what it looks like all around. Try to get the frame as much as I could. <clears throat> all right, let's walk back. Take the backside out right there. You don't really have to spray the wheel wells uh, because it's just plastic. You're not trying to protect the plastic. Try to get the metal parts. That's the key. <clears throat> so you don't have to overspray it everywhere. Just on the key points on the frame, cross members, the bolts. Sorry for uh, poor lighting, but this is what this is what it looks like when it's done and starts to dry out. Uh, and after it dries out, it's going to have a darker tone to it. But uh, there it is. I'll take some stills and give you guys a better view of what it looks like. We'll let it sit here and let it run for a little bit. Just keep an eye on it to make sure you don't get anything, uh, any kind of problems with the car. Last thing you want is for some sort of a fire to start. So just keep an eye on it, let it dry out, and uh, once it's done, I'm gonna go ahead and park it in the garage. All right, job well done. Hey guys, uh, just another tip is uh, if you get any of the Cosmoline in your hair, I suggest using this stuff here to get it out. It's pretty natural, uh, it smells good and washes out easily. Um, and it definitely beats spraying something nasty like brake cleaning your hair. So use this stuff. I recommend it.